Hello guys. Confession has primate Ayo Daily reviews plot to assassinate president and governors. What is going on here? Again? <laughs> Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. Uh, primate Ayo Daily is the leader of the Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, though Nigerians, uh, most people will say he's a political uh, prophet. And uh, when you look at some of these prophecies, this man, you know, comes out to say this is what he see or what God shows him. When you look at it crit critically, you see that most of this prof uh, prophecy comes to pass and all that. Mm -hmm. Now he has come with this assassination of uh, presidents and uh, governors. Make we even hear waiting he gets, you know, to talk at this time again. At where and uh, which of the president who is he talking about and governors? I beg, make this kind of uh, prophecy not come near Nigeria because we don't want Wahala. Mm -hmm. We don't want problem. On Tuesday, primate Ayodele, the leader of Iri Evangelical Spiritual Church, shared prophecies for several African countries, including uh, Uganda, Tanzania. Kenya, Zimbabwe, um, Togo, and Senegal. He expressed concerns about potential assassination attempts on presidents and governors in some of these nations. In Uganda, he said, prayers are requested for the president's health. Trouble and political confusion are, for, are foreseen. Caution advice against potential Ebola, cholera, and COVID-19 outbreaks. The opposition leader should be wary of lawful detention. In Tanzania, he said the economic troubles and confusion predicted. A warning against policies that could implement or could impart the president's political career. Prayers needed to avert cholera, polio, a Lassa fever, and political turmoil. In Namibia, the political tension and cause for the president's elimination anticipated. He advised to end political ambition due to expected setback. Caution against political miscalculations uh, and opposition's blackmail. In South Sudan, cautioned for president to take care of his health to avoid slumbing. Prayers to prevent situations similar to uh, Sudan sea security, prediction of ethnic crisis and potential problems between the president and the political allies. The Sudan warning at a potential assassination of a rebel leader, if not careful, anticipation of Democratic challenges until 2026. Zimbabwe, Zambia, please pardon me. It's a stiff opposition predicted for the president in the next election. In the president, for the president in the next election, advice for strategic planning to ensure party continuity in Kenya. He cautioned against the assassination of removal of a governor, the economic policy concerns and challenges for opposition leader. Okay, Ruto calls for changes in economic and diplomatic policies. In Togo, he predict, he, he predict the predictions of political problems, flooding, unexpected attacks, and protests. He cautioned against policies that may revive political troubles. In Zimbabwe, forecasts of poverty, chicken purse, high fever, and climate crisis. The president uh, warned of potential corruption and indictment by the West. In Senegal, it's a low turnout expected in the coming election. Challenges for the ruling party's candidate facing issues with the incumbent president, a coup threat is foreseen. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't even want to go to comment session because you will not like what Nigerians are saying about it. You know, majority of people do not want to hear anything prophecy. What they want to 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 see and uh, know is how how do we go about this or way forward? Not be say God tell me and we are still facing problems and all that. Well, those those prophecies well are not for Nigeria, but if you can recall that uh, in the beginning of uh, January or before January. He released prophecies for 2024 for Nigeria. He he won President Bola Ahmed Tinubu about Kabars working against him. He also asked him to take good care of his health and all that. So Ayodele uh, prophesizing for countries and uh, Nigerians, even parties during the election and all that is not known today. You understand? But what Nigerians are now saying here, uh, most, some people, not everybody, they, they talk, say, they no want prophecy again because all the one they have been prophesizing, there is no way out. Okay, guys, what's your take on this? I beg, make me hear from you. Kindly share, like, and subscribe.